I bought this five gang switch panel for my van electrical system and I want to connect a compressor fridge and uh, um, I charge my phones uh, use the USB sockets and connect the lights to um, these switches. Now I've looked at a, a couple of YouTubes and um, one of the common issues with this is once you connect it to the battery it's always on and all these LEDs turn on which can be annoying if it's uh, you're trying to sleep. So one of the questions uh, and the typical solution is to connect an external switch um, before it runs from the battery into here and you switch it off and that switches the whole unit off. But one of the questions was how to use one of the internal switches to uh, control the lights. Um, now for my particular application uh, and so that's what I'm going to I'm going to show you that and I'm also going to show you how to test it simply without actually needing to hook it up to your car 12, uh, 12 volt battery. So in my particular application I want a fridge, a compressor fridge in the uh, lights, uh, the um, cigarette socket permanently on but I don't want these these um, LED lights to be on all the time. I want to be able to control that. So let me show you a trick with a 9 volt battery. Okay, so I've got the 9 volt battery here. All you do is you connect uh, the black to the negative and the red the positive and that turns it on okay so you can test whether your experiment works so you can see all my LEDs are on so I'll disconnect the battery uh, oh yes also I should show you you know these little lights glow when it comes on now how do you get rid of all of that when you want to sleep at night well uh, you can control the LEDs with the one of the switches um, by pulling out the positive terminal. Uh, I don't know if you can see that well. Pulling out this positive terminal, so I've just pulled that up, and attaching one of the outputs. So this is an output of one of the switches. It'll go. You know that because it'll go through a fuse, and you put it. You feed it into the positive. So. I'm just, uh, for the purposes of demonstration, going to put it through the little hole here. Uh, and now, um, these, uh, the voltmeter and the USB should be controlled by that switch, but let's test it with our 12 volt battery. Uh, so, let's, black goes to the negative, red goes to the positive, okay so you can see that the, the middle one is not going on unless I turn the switch on. Okay so that's how you do it, that's how you control uh, the LED lights with one of your internal rocker switches uh, and how you can test the whole thing with a 9 volt battery. Uh, now as you can see um, what that will enable me to do is I can have my my fridge permanently plugged into here that will always be running uh, and uh, there's always power going to through the switches in this case um, but uh, it'll switch off switch off the lights of this voltmeter. Now there's probably a way to isolate the whole thing uh, with one of those switches, but um, it's again it's a matter of experimenting with your nine volt battery easily uh, to make the right connections to get the result that you want. So that's how it's done.